is up guys, it's Jay-Z here and welcome back for another build for Godfall. Today we are looking at a very fun and exciting build for Mobius. This build is super fun and we will be using some really fun weapons that I really haven't showcased much of before. We will be able to consistently use our banners so we can keep getting the super high damage output that the banners offer. Using a hammer as your primary and a hammer as your secondary as well makes this build even more powerful. So let's get right into the build. For the weapons we are going to be having fun with using two hammers. The first hammer we will use for this build is the Void Strike. The ability of this hammer is actually pretty strong. Whenever you soul shot an enemy with your sudden technique, you will launch up to 3 void projectiles that will deal damage to nearby enemies. The projectiles actually deal a great amount of damage, dealing up to 25,000 to 28,000 damage per projectile. The more you speak into your void damage, the stronger the projectiles will be. It is a great way to use when you are completely surrounded by enemies. Since the hammers can soul shatter multiple enemies at once, you can launch a crazy number of projectiles. For the second and most amazing weapon for this build is the Konabu. I have always loved this weapon's ability and now since I have finally a good primal version of it, it is even better. I just never like it because it just doesn't look cool at all. I hope we can add some skins or something on these weapons in the future. But the ability is nothing to sleep on. You will get banner charge whenever you hit an enemy with a weapon technique. Remember, you just need to hit the enemy to get the banner charge. Hitting multiple enemies will stack what you get from this weapon. You can refill your banner charge within a few weapon techniques if you are surrounded by enemies. The hammer's northern technique is the best to use for this build. Since it has a full 360 degree attack, you will get the banner recharge super quickly. Other weapons you could use for this build is the Vasara or the Cabal Great Maw. Use any of these two hammers if you want some more over health or health gain if you need it. For both of your weapons, make sure you have crit chance upgraded and add more crit chance as your masterwork crate as well. For the amulet, we will be using the amulet of the Exarchs. This will give us even more banner charge whenever we get a kill. Primal version will be even better, but it is not essential. This amulet is dropped as an epic item which you can then upgrade it to a legendary. Make sure you have crit chance upgraded on it and add crit damage as your masterwork. For the charm, we will be using the Lion's Talisman. The primal version will be better to use for this build to get your hammer's weapon charge even faster. Once again, make sure to have an upgrade crit chance and get crit chance as a masterwork trait as well. This charm is also dropped as an epic item which you can then upgrade it to a legendary. For the rings, it's pretty standard this time. We'll be using the Dust Lord Signet to express weak points whenever you inflict an element. Then we'll be using the Eye of the Dragon to get over health whenever you kill an element afflicted enemy. These rings are what will allow us to inflict elements with our weapon techniques as well. For the Lifestone and the Banner, we'll be keeping them to the Archon's tier and the Mace's Banroll. Now let's take a look at the Augments. For the Might Augments, first we will get the Paradise. This will get us more weapon tech charge whenever we land a critical hit. Then we have Twilight Bloom to give us the crazy high weapon tech damage. Next we have Focus. This will give us over health whenever we land a critical hit. And for the last Might Augment we have the Iron Heart. This will give us bonus crit chance but lower our rampage charge speed which is no problem. This is a cursed Augment so it can be only found in Lightbringer. Make sure on your Might Augments you have weapon tech damage weak point damage or void damage on them. For the one and only split augment, we'll be using Scourge to get our shields recharged super quickly. Get void damage on this augment or element power and make sure to get might as your masterwork. For the vitality augments, we'll be using void shell. Since we have crit chance really high, we'll get even more over health whenever we land a critical hit. For the next augment, we have the tarnished heart. This will increase our curse power greatly while you have no blessings. This is also a cursed augment so it can only be farmed in Lightbringer. For the last 3 Vitality Augments, we have Glamour and then we have Rift, both of us giving bonus damage per element on the enemies. Get Void Damage, Element Power or Over Health Gain on your Vitality Augments, whichever one you prefer. Here is a look at the skill tree. Since we will be using banners a lot, we will go fully into it to get more of the over health and longer duration on it as well. Since we will be mostly killing with weapon techniques, go fully into takedowns so we can get those free speckled takedowns. Here is a look at the Ascension Powers in the stat sheet. That is it for the build guys. Using double hammers is super fun and it is a lot stronger than you may think. Using the Kanabo hammer recharges banners so quickly that you can use them on almost every encounter. Even when you are escorting the light in the Lightbringer, you can drop your banners with each fight. To get the most out of your Void Strike hammer which launches projectiles, 
Start out your combo with a light attack or your northern technique to get some soul shadow build up on the enemies and then hit them with your southern technique. This projectiles will hit all enemies really hard doing crazy amounts of damage. It works super great in those rooms in the towers where you have to defend the crystals and especially in Lightbringer where you're always surrounded by the enemies. One thing to note is the projectiles will spawn from you and not the enemies. You can see it here, the projectiles will come out from you. Since the hammer's sudden technique pushes you back, make sure to dodge and close the distance if you have moved too far away from the enemies. If you soul shatter and no enemies are nearby, the projectiles will not spawn, so keep that in mind. Other than that, this build is crazy strong. Since you will have your banners all the time, you will not need to worry about gaining over health as well, since banners will constantly provide over health while you are inside them. Works especially great in Lightbringer since you can keep dropping your banners in the center of the arena and you will never lose over health. Never have I finished Lightbringer so easily while having greater curses on. Another reason why it's so great because the Northern Technique on your hammers also stuns all the enemies around you. By constantly spamming your Northern Technique you'll be stun locking all enemies which means no one will be able to attack you. Hope you guys enjoyed the build. If you liked the video be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more amazing builds for Godfall. Comment down below what you guys think. I still think Konambu is a great hammer but it just looks so unappealing. Really would love to see a transmog system or new skins added into the game. I will catch you all next time.